And welcome in live to a Thursday edition of the Backstage Pass, always here in living color. And of course, uh, the Backstage Pass logo is behind us, no doubt about that. And the countdown continue on to Country Radio Seminar coming up February 23rd to the 25th at the Omni Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. Myself, Kirsty Krause, and Jeff McMahon uh, will be there bringing you the best in entertainment. And whoever comes inside that media room is going to sit down with us, no doubt. And of course, uh, let's go this weekend, week 14 of the National Football League, if you missed our Outlaw Fantasy Show with myself and C.J. Garten. It's on the YouTube channel out there, the Backstage Pass and C.J. Garten's uh, YouTube channel. We got your countdown. Who to start, who to sit for week 14 of the uh, National Football League. And we're always presented by our good friends over at Bangtail Whiskey and Hank Jr. Productions and, of course, uh, MitchMax.com, the official merchandise maker of the Backstage Pass. Well, I'll tell you what, I had this guy on last time and he's got a new single out there across all the platforms it's nashville night i'm gonna have one of those when i get there during crs uh jordan moore back on the program what's up buddy what's going on brother thanks for having <laughs> me brother hey, we gotta have a nashville night we, we got to let's 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 do something <laughs> on there during the, the CRS uh, during the four-day event hey tell me about Heck this yeah. uh been about a year we were saying before the show man talking about just uh the crazy year it was for musicians, but, um, you know, your story inspires me because people know the whole Justin Moore story, but the Jordan Moore story is sort of similar, but then there's some differences there, but, um, man, second chances, perseverance. And, um, you know, like I got said on this podcast a few times, I could have given up a thousand times and just said the hell with it. I'm not going to do it. You've done this and you understand the meaning of like, man, the, the whole meaning of perseverance and, uh, Without faith, it's hard to do anything out there. The power of God. Remind people about that, about not giving up, and about how this journey in music has been for you. Man, it's tough. Uh, you know, the the there is thousands and thousands and thousands of very talented musicians that just they lose they lose sight, you know, and they lose hope because it's a tough industry. It really is, you know, not even just in the music industry, but that's kind of across the board on all all careers, you know, and if you want something bad enough, you sacrifice for it. And, you know, I mean, I believe that we have God-given talents. I do, mm-hmm. you know, and I think that not everything good comes easy, you know, and so yeah. uh, perseverance is one of those things that, you know, God gives us, you know, he gives us the energy to keep running the race. And, uh, you know, <laughs> That's yeah. just one of those things where it's easy. It's very easy to quit. And to be honest with you, I mean, I kind of hung it up for a while, you know, just to try and get, get things mm-hmm. right with my family. And and then, you know, last year we dropped Nashville Night, or not Nashville Night, the Heart of Quitting. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is just a follow-up to that, that song, you know, uh, Nashville Night, and just the cool things that Nashville has to offer and just the, the grind, you know. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, the grind of everyday life and your day job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you know, one of the best things is to have that family support throughout everything that you do. And your dad was huge, man, growing up and infusing yeah. all the kids, man, in music. Tell me about your dad and just how important he was growing up around music. Oh, I mean, it was, it was always, uh, any free time we had, whether we were hanging out at the house or if we had a bonfire, my dad was huge in the ministry you know, and so we were helping at church. We were helping. We were singing at old folks' homes. We were at my the youth groups from all different you know uh, churches that we were involved in would all come over to my parents' house. They'd have bonfires. We were out playing music and singing around the fire, and that was just my life growing up. You know, and so mm-hmm. if he if he was playing a guitar, he was singing something. You know, and that's kind of how I am now. And like, there's times my wife's like, "Hey, stop humming." <laughs> you know like i just and that's you know i get i get these these but that's honestly how i write half the songs that i write i just yeah. get these little ideas in my head and I, I sing them to myself and come up with an idea and boom there they are you know no secret the last 19 or 18 months have been uh tough out there for everybody especially everybody in the music industry just good to kind of see the floodgates open now as we close uh, the year, more shows on the books and going into next year. Um, mm-hmm. Tell me about that. How did you adjust? To how What was the kind of the remedy through all this, these tough times? Be honest with you. I mean, I didn't really do much of anything. I did a couple private shows. You know, I just kept working. I worked my, worked my day job and kept building a portfolio. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I've written and written and written. That's really what I spent last year doing um, was writing content. And now this year, it's like, 
top of the year. I'm going to have a bunch of new stuff to release right before it. I mean, we just released Nashville Night. We got the music video to follow up. We're going to finish filming that tonight, actually. I'm going to be downtown Nashville, so if anybody wants to come hang out, we'll be at Whiskey Row uh, yeah. on the top on the top <laughs> roof. So uh, we'll be down there for a while to finish up. And then, um, you know, it's now that I've got everything kind of lined up, now I can start to release the thing in a orderly manner you know so. <laughs> yep. and yeah, then you know that it, 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 it's strategic you know because it's mm-hmm. really easy like we talked about earlier as far as perseverance goes it's really easy to burn yourself out uh just going out there and just throwing something up against the wall and hoping it sticks like yeah. there's you, you got to be strategic with what you're doing otherwise you waste a lot of time energy and finances it's mm-hmm. with just hoping that it works you know, you gotta you gotta have a good game plan. Otherwise, you're mm-hmm. you know, unless you get one one of these guys that gets lucky and you know, just at the right place, right time. That that's a big part of it too, as well. Like I said, becoming more strategic in, in things we do on a daily basis. I know for me in the podcast, we're. Uh, Definitely moving forward with a plan, no doubt about it, too. And you can't just throw it against the wall and hope it sticks there. Hey, tell me about, uh, I guess, two-parter here. I love the fact, in a long time since we had chatted, but um, you mentioned the title, Hard at Quitting. Uh, Tell me about this, because I I probably forgot to ask you last time. The song was fantastic, came out great for you guys uh, releasing it last year. But the music video had to be as much fun to shoot as it did recording the song. Oh, yeah. It's actually more fun. <laughs> recording, the, <laughs> just, recording the song is fun. And I love being in the studio. I just, it's, it's natural for me. But the music video is fun because you, you get to bring out that whole different side of creativity, you know, mm-hmm. and you, a little bit of acting that goes into it. You know, it's like, it's, it's a whole different level of hard. Um, and I got to be honest, it is very exhausting. You spend mm-hmm. a day, like hard at quitting. We recorded that whole music video in a day. And by the end of the mm-hmm. day, I was beat. <laughs> like, I just, I was, I just have to go to bed. I can't even do anything else anymore. Like, I, I was, it, it was tough, you know. And uh, mm-hmm. this time, same, same deal, you know. Shooting uh, the video for National Night, which is a little more fun, lighthearted, mm-hmm. it's a good. So far, I like what I've seen, you know. Um, but a little more laid back. Uh, but it's, it's fun, man. I love shooting videos. I bet so. And of course, Nashville Night is out there across all the platforms. We're going to talk about that in a second of how it came together. But hey, you're going to love this and we'll make you laugh now with this one too. Um, because I remember you saying last time there was this uh, rock band that you guys started performing in around the state. You remember this thing called Sergeant Avenue or so you were talking about oh, yeah. last time? I, 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 yes, it's sir. been some moments to reflect back on that. I know you guys never were signed to a label, but the cool thing was you told me y'all were traveling across the country, around the world, and and you got that hung that hungry fan base. You're doing that with your own music now, but is there still some good memories from that band? Oh man, so many. <laughs> that that band that band was a statement, honestly, just for who we we are as people. You know, um, yeah. The lyrical content of that of that project is just very deep, and mm-hmm. it's like I listen to it now. And actually, Noah and I we were like. We just actually started to re-release some of the songs, and uh, we're probably going to cool. re- write something new for that, um, just because you know it's too good of it's too good to not. Um, mm-hmm. The we actually I, I re-released Manchester, so it's out on all mm-hmm. platforms too, and actually it's performing quite well for having been over a decade since anybody's heard, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, mm-hmm. that project meant a lot to us. Uh, Mm -hmm. and that was where it all started. You know, that was every, not, not a single thing was easy with that, with that group. Um, Mm -hmm. but we accomplished so much just being independent artists and Mm -hmm. we got to experience a lot of cool things, got to go on a lot of cool missions, uh, help people around the world and just serve. It was realistic. I mean, it was life changing for sure. Yeah, no doubt. Looking forward to talking about that. We're going to take a little quick break, uh, time out, pay the bills, and of course, uh, we'll come back and talk all about Nashville Night again. It's uh, Jordan Moore. It's the Backstage Pass. Thanks to Mitch Max, Hank Jr. Productions, and of course, our good friends over at Bangtail Whiskey. You can check him out. I love the website. I always say it. JMOCountry.com. We'll come back after a word from uh, Mitch Max, the official merchandise maker of the Backstage Pass. Hang tight. <laughs>
The bangtail pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base. The front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle, and the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. Yeah, we get a little fancy here on the backstage pass with some videos. Thanks to Mitch Max and Bangtail Whiskey and, of course, Hank Jr. Uh, Productions. Check those guys out. Websites at the bottom of the screen. Back here on the show, Jordan Moore uh, joining us here. Check him out at uh, jmocountry.com. And, of course, Nashville Night across all the uh, platforms out there, wherever you stream out there. Hey, tell me all about it. I thought it was, uh, man, just a different kind of vibe. What I loved about it, too, the production side of it. I love how it's kind of started. Uh, like the intro is like that roller coaster ride. It kind of takes off. And, then, man, you, slowly, you guys slowly get into it. And you take that first turn <laughs> and loop and you kind of go up and around a little bit. Um, can you hear me? You there? There it goes. Okay. Got you there. Um, now I was saying about Nashville night, it kind of starts off as that, that slow roller coaster ride. And then you kind of get that first loop. I'm having and, a hard time uh, hearing you. Oh, can you still hear me? It sounds like, uh, okay. sounds like a, uh, transformer. <laughs> transformer i've heard that before too i'm not sure oh man well hope you can hear me i'll pull the mic a little bit closer see if that works how's that a little bit better all right is that a little bit better just pull the microphone a little closer hold on can, <laughs> can i can i leave and rejoin you can let's do that let's take let a quick time that. out come right back all right all right let me try that go behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the backstage pass powered by the sportsguyspodcast.com Join Brandon Morrill and his co-hosts Kirsty Krause, Jeff McMahon, and Karen Lee Batten as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune into the Backstage Pass Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30, powered by the sportsguyspodcast.com. And welcome in to the Backstage Pass. And we're back here on the show. Can you hear me now? Jordan Moore. I can hear you, but it's it's still breaking up pretty bad. Still breaking up a little bit. All right, well, let's let's do this real quick. Tell me all about Nashville Night. I was just talking about that, how it's kind of a roller coaster ride, and you guys kind of start off with uh, that slow roller coaster, and you kind of take that first loop. Tell me all about Nashville Night. This was a fun song, and I love it. I love it. I think you said, tell me all about Nashville Night. Yes, correct. You got okay. It. <laughs> well, I'll just tell you all about Nashville Night. <laughs> so the song – it's no secret. I've been in the car business yeah. for a long time and it is a grind. Um, and I just want this song to portray, you know, the first line, it's like boss man can suck my whole life away <laughs> if I let him. Okay. And the truth is, is we get in such a routine in life that mm -hmm. we really can, we can let whatever we're doing consume us to the full point that we to the point where we don't get to work on anything else that brings us any creativity or joy in life. And, yes, and then I was on, you know, I was, I was at the gym when I wrote this song. It was like, that's, I was getting these nasty texts at the time from my boss. And I was just like, <laughs> man, that line popped in my head. And I'm like, that's mm -hmm. the beginning of the song, <laughs> you know? And so, and then it was like, you know, the whole COVID thing. And it was like, nobody, we couldn't go anywhere. I was like, I need a vacation. You know, mm -hmm. and then it was like, you know what? I guess Nashville's still open. So yeah. that's that's what we got. We got Nashville. <laughs> so we're living for a Nashville night right now, you know. And so it was just one thing after another. Just the constant grind of the daily life and, and, and pressure from a job. And it's just like, it's funny because there's a lot mm -hmm. of humor in the music video that I'm excited for people to see because realistically it's just like i'm just ready to for the clock to, to hit five and we gonna cut loose you know <laughs> so hey there you are i can hear you again i like that too as well hey tell me about the uh the wife and the kids how's how's the family because uh, i know you guys you were working crazy hours there at the time now and you've got a little more time with the family now too and you know what? the wife and the kids yes my job right now is fantastic mm -hmm. um wife and kids are great they're growing like weeds um yeah. you know <laughs> It, they're going up so fast that you know it's it's crazy you blink and then all of a sudden you're like hey mm -hmm. you're taller than you're nor you were last week <laughs> you know so it's it, they're fun though man they love mm -hmm. it and they love being involved in the music too it's great they they absolutely love it it's fun for them and it's fun for me to have them involved yeah so. tell me about that story uh, last time i love how like you said sometimes it's the right place at the right time but uh i remember the name tim nichols came up and he was kind of oh, yeah. in there doing some cool stuff there looking for that car and 
he leaves with a demo tape. And of course, the other guy, I believe, was was it Michael Knox too at the same time? Michael Tell me Knox, about. Yeah, I got a good yeah. memory, man. So I, I keep it up. Yep. Tell me about uh, a little bit. How, I, got, I mean, that was fate. If there ever was fate, right? That was crazy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, what's really funny is the place that I work. It's just nonstop. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I meet new people every day, and yeah. and actually, I've made some really good friends. Um, with uh the right people <laughs> you know tim is actually i've i've been able to communicate with him a couple times like hey what do you think mm -hmm. of this what do you think of this and he'll send me back his opinion you know and his opinion means a lot to me because well it's tim nichols yeah um <laughs> and uh you know i've made some really good friends larry paragas mm -hmm. has just been uh, the best for me and now if if i need anything it's like I can call Larry at any time. He's one of the most genuine people I've ever met in my life. And he's just his 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 connections are endless. But more importantly, like he's become a friend of mine. Like mm -hmm. he's he's just such a good human that I honestly don't know if I've ever met a more genuine person than him. And so if I need any guidance, any help with anything, he's right mm -hmm. to him. If I he doesn't answer, he texts me or calls me right back. And that's been just a godsend because, I mean, really, he's as, he's as connected as they come, you know, and he's just a good dude. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Got to, have to have meet a lot of cool other people, you know. <laughs> I've, I've set several, several other mm -hmm. connections have been made since then. I'm not going to get into all of them. <laughs> yeah, all good. But, uh Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 good. A lot of good things going on. <laughs> That's I'm, a good thing, I'm, man. I'm 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 in the right place, mm -hmm. right time. I'm gonna keep working my tail off until I'm ready to make that next move. So that's uh, kind of the way that I feel. The same kind of mantra for this uh, particular platform here. I appreciate you getting back with me to uh, to come on and do it again. Nashville Nighters yeah. across all the platforms, and uh, definitely. It's, uh, Tomorrow, Michaela Phillips, American Idol sweetheart, comes by. And then next week, uh, Nashville recording artist. Uh, looking forward to talking to this gentleman. Uh, David Nail stops by next week. So always, always great to uh, pick. So put one of the greats with one of the rising artists out there uh, today, too. Hey, let me jump and do a little rapid fire. And we'll do one more time out here real quick. But I wanted to uh, ask you about a couple things real quick. Uh, and the first way I'm going to lead it off is I always say this because we're getting into that holiday season. Any cool plans? You traveling for Christmas? What's going on there? Honestly, not this year, and it's going to be great. <laughs> That's good. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to be home. I've got some of my neighbors are planning on coming over. Right. You know, we don't have a bunch of we don't have any family around here really. So, like, instead of going and having it being hectic, we're going to stay here this year. And I've got neighbors and friends coming over that are just going to we're going to celebrate Christmas and and relax. That's the way I felt with Thanksgiving. I didn't go anywhere. Now this Christmas, we're gonna to go to the San Antonio, Texas, down here and do a little traveling, the river walk, and some other stuff down there. So nice. Uh, me and the wife, of course, the anniversary is coming up December nineteenth, so I cannot oh, nice. forget congrats, about that. Man. So that's gonna be yeah, eleven years just went. Heck yeah! Congrats. Oh, man, that's just, a feat. It's a feat, yeah, and, a, and almost a two-year-old to show for it too. So that's a good yeah. thing, good problem, have, so. <laughs> <laughs> which is good out there too. All right, so let's say this. I love this one. I pull this out of the bag from time to time. Let's say tomorrow you looked in your account and Jordan Moore had won the lottery. What's the first thing you do with the money? Oh, well, I'd probably pay off my – well, it depends on how much. Yeah, I'd probably pay off my house. And then, okay, all right. Yeah, I'd probably pay off my – I'd do something responsible. Yeah, I would do. I'd like yeah. fix up my house and new siding and some other stuff. And yeah, yeah, stuff. I'd do something you? responsible, and then I'd probably go on vacation. <laughs> uh, That's a good way to put it. I like that too, no doubt. All right, uh, contestant on any game show. What game shows would you choose? Uh, Price is Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm, be... I'm good at my consumer prices. <laughs> consumer, well, there you go. Hey, it's car sales and, and Price it's is right. right. Price is right. I love That's that. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, any good foods or any good drinks? Any new stuff that you've kind of, uh, I guess, is, uh, I guess, the appetite or, you know, the, uh, the good stuff there out, food or drinks you've tried lately that you're like, man, I like this stuff. This is good stuff here. Man, I mean, I'm just a huge Thai food fan. <laughs> I love Thai food. It's my, it's my go-to. Nothing wrong with that, brother. A little bit of rice, a little bit of everything to it. Like That's I said, right. I, it's I actually great. We tried a new place the other day. I was out of town over in in, in uh, Katy, Texas, outside of Houston, over there, and uh, it was like an Asian kind of Thai food place, and they had just made uh, made to order type thing, scratch, and it. Yep, it's fantastic. Been on that craving as of late, brother. Well, hey, uh, good it. luck. What's that? I said I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we need to as well. Hey, good luck with the shoot tonight. And yeah, I know you want to get to the uh, soccer game coming up. Good luck to your daughter in the soccer game. I right, uh, appreciate you spending a few minutes with us again. Night, uh, Nashville night is out there across all the uh, platforms at JMO country is the website after gmocountry.com. Make sure you check that out. Brother, always appreciate you. Hey, swing by uh, the Omni if you're there in town. We'll definitely uh, yeah. highlight some things in uh, CRS. And, hey, best of luck in 22, okay? Thank you very much. You too. And we'll be in touch soon. You got it, man. Jordan Moore here on the Backstage Pass tomorrow. Michaela Phillips. We'll talk to you guys soon here on the show. Have a great night. Thanks, brother. You got it.